Ice Cold is a song that we recorded twice. There was one original version that Ant was a part of that it was a lot more slower. I think it was a little bit longer. I really liked that song um, and had no intentions of changing it. But when I got the beat, the beat just had the anthem feel to it. And I was like, man, whatever I put to it, you know, I feel is gonna ride. And so again, once I got the beat, I looked back at all of the recorded material to see, okay, is there something before I start writing raw, something new at the gate, let me look and see, do I have anything that fits? At the time, you know, everybody had their songs. You know, like I you think about New York, you know, they had boroughs and you know, I'm from the Bronx, or I'm from this neighborhood. Whereas at the time, you, you do have it now, but at the time it's not like you have people saying, I'm repping Powderhorn, you know, I'm repping the Central area, you know, I'm repping the Willard Hay area. So it was one of those things to be like, you know, be prideful of where we're from as well as, you know, again, me, when I first came from LA, I thought it was like cows and prints, you know, so I am the subject to that limited view of what Minneapolis was as well. And then when you think about when you get your glimpses of what Minneapolis was, some of those glimpses excluded some of the grimy narratives. In general, is Minneapolis straight grimy? No, but when it comes to getting grimy, we got some of the grimiest, you know, and so I wanted to encapsulate that more for the, for, for, for the national to be like, yo, like it ain't all, sweet over here, you know, any, any people just walking around plucking guitars and, you know, singing alternative music and sipping coffee, feel me? <laughs> and then I had to make the connection because, again, this is the home of the AIM movement. We have some contributions. We've made big contributions to the national landscape. And, what, you know, and, and it's interesting because I organized in the Phillips community where the AIM was started, which was you know, a counterpart to the Black Panthers, the Black Berets, the Brown Berets, you know. So I wanted to highlight that.